Alexa, close my shades. My name is David Hughes. I'm the owner of Theater Advice in Dallas, Texas. So now we've been in business 12, 13 years, stronger every year. Opened our showroom three years ago. When clients meet us, it's a refreshing. They know they're being told the things that they're not getting elsewhere, um, information that they're not getting. Even at 42 years old, been in business 13 years, doing seven figures, I still fall asleep with my laptop on me. I just won't fail. There's no task somebody can give me, no job size too big. We look at every job and I just go, I'll do it, I'll figure it out. You know, I'm going up against 4,000 other people and they don't have the willingness that I have. They won't stay up till three o'clock in the morning to make sure things get done, and I will. You know, that's some of the difference, and my clients feel that about me. They feel that I will work tirelessly to make sure things are perfect, um, and that things continue to be perfect for years after they give me their money. That's hard to compete with for somebody else because experience is not something you can just get. It's something you have to work for. I tell my clients sometimes, everybody's gonna tell you they're the best. Can they prove it? I just kind of grew up seeing my parents do things that are kind of out of character for most people. Grew up in Massachusetts, watched my dad ride a bicycle to work. I think our car broke down and I think he rode like a 10 speed 1970s style rickety bicycle to work for a month. My mom went to school in her 30s um, while still working. And so, you know, it was one of those things that as a father of four, you know, you just, you just realize that's what it takes. If, if things aren't working out, you ride your 10 speed to work. You get it figured out. I've always kind of had a, what I thought at least was a knack for picking out colors and design and things like that. And as of now, we've been in 33 national magazines on the cover of one and on the DIY network uh, doing the Vanilla Ice Project. But as we traversed, we started doing, just because of the nature of the business, we started doing a lot more automation. And so when it came time to do my house, nobody comes close to Screen Innovations. And it's really about what they look like when they're up, oddly enough. It's like a weird game of Where's Waldo, just trying to find Screen Innovation shades. What makes them different is not how they look when they're down, because when they're down, they look like other shades, and that's okay. It's how they look like when they're up. Nobody can compete with that. There was absolutely no question that I was going to put in my home that we worked so hard for, the nano shade. No matter what angle it's at, when it's put up in the window, all you're seeing is the clean front, and when it goes up, you're not seeing anything at all, which is the whole point of buying a motorized shade in the first place. If you buy shades over shutters, when you roll them up, you, it's because you don't want to see anything. You want it to have that modern, clean look, and only Nanobox can give you that. they were insanely easy to install and then they were even easier to use especially after the Zigbee uh, you know 3.0 that I was doing a beta for. Zigbee 3.0 is insanely effective because it's a mesh network especially when you've got other things that are 3.0 like light switches and things like that as that becomes more um, available in 3.0 it's like a spider web it's far more reliable than any other you know wireless technology out right now. Here we're using Control 4. So I've got four kids hammering buttons around this house and everything works every single time I need it to work. I mean, I can talk to them uh, straight through Control 4. I can control them through Control 4. I can schedule them through Control 4. I can remote access them through Control 4. And they work with the shades seamlessly. People are jealous of them when they come over. My neighbors have already commented that they want them now. <laughs> so, you know, it was definitely the right decision. I know it's cliche because their name is Screen Innovations, but it's literally what they do. They, they take something and then they go, we're gonna make it better though. We're gonna make it cooler. We're gonna make it look better. Um, they don't just make a shade. It's hard to believe that some of their products can even get better at this point.